You may not be ready, but this is my responsibility. Saving the world requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. I always feel like I'm putting my friends in danger. The world needs the next Iron Man. Are you going to step up or not? All right. Welcome, everybody, to this new episode of our Hump Day show. I am your host with the most Los, aka Public Enemy. Yo. Behind the behind the magic of it all, we got Eli, aka JRX 4X. Jerks, say what's up. What's up, jerks? <laughs> so, uh, we are reviewing Spider-Man: Far From Home. Far as fuck. Far as fuck, and. Uh, you know, we like to start our uh, our reviews off. We start off with the negative, get that out of the way, so we could get to all the good stuff. So, uh, Eli, why don't you go ahead and, and tell the people what you did not like about the movie? Um, the movie, it, it was okay. So this movie's supposed to be like, I guess, the closing end for the Phase Three, and then the beginning of Phase yeah. Four for the Marvel Universe movie. Yeah, universe. yeah, that's what it felt like. You know, the kind of that yeah. final handing of the torch mm-hmm. to Tom Holland, Spider Man. That final, you know, they did a lot of callbacks to uh, Tony, and I, I really right. liked that. Right in the beginning, yeah, there was a lot ahead, of callbacks yeah. to to Iron Man and Tony Stark. Uh, but I mean, as far as what I didn't like about this movie, uh, like overall, the movie felt really like not terrible, but it it, it felt like really just even keel. Like it wasn't amazing. Okay. It wasn't bad. I could see but, that. But yeah. like, I can tell you, like, okay, I can tell you one scene for sure. By the way, this is gonna have heavy spoilers because we're just gonna go oh, right yeah. into it. Yeah, hey guys. So I, I, I'm gonna tell you movie, right now. Don't watch this man the the absolutely worst part that I freaking wanted like to just walk out was when when Spider Man was giving Mysterio uh, Edith the glasses. I was like, bro, I'm like, you don't even know this guy. You're giving him the glasses, and Edith is like this like. Uh, what the mili- like uh, the the Tony Stark like all his like uh, his AI his AI system, his yeah. his all his weaponry basically like the, he has this satellite in the air that's filled with drones that are ready to fucking murder everything and anyone and and like Tony gave it to Spider Man and be like hey you know I trust you you're gonna be you know the next the 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 one that's gonna lead us to the next you know. Uh, it's the next part of the Marvel Universe, I guess, GG's. But he's like, oh, oh, Tony gave him to me because he trusted me, so he knew I was going to give him up. Ugh. And then he fucking gives him to the most random person you just met. I was, oh my God, that shit pissed me off, dude. I was like, come on. Yeah, I, I, um, I get that. I mean, but at the same time, I mean, he's never, it, really throughout this whole arc, uh, he hasn't had someone he can really like in trust with everything and relate to so i kind of get it like he has you know this is the first person he can actually talk about this stuff with um who who can who can actually kind of understand him Mm -hmm. who uh, up until that point had actually saved the world a couple of times had saved a couple of cities so I mean, I get it, but I do get what you're saying. Like, bro, you, this is something that was entrusted to you by like your idol, and you're just giving it away to this guy you met like maybe a couple of days ago. Like, yeah, yeah that, that's I thought a that little... was the most stupidest part I've ever seen in the entire movie. It literally pissed <laughs> me off. I was like, this is so fucking stupid. But then again, it's kind of one of those things where, like, I mean, I think anybody and everybody would know by now, at least by watching the trailers, by knowing that Mysterio's in this movie, that he is not a good guy. Like, I yeah, guess because I, I already knew that. I was like, come on, man. Don't do not do it like this. I yeah, guess it, it wouldn't yeah. hit me as hard if I was like, like you know, like oblivious to the fact that Mysterio yeah, was yeah. not a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah exactly. That plays a big part because, you know, you kind of know it's going to happen at right. some point. You're like, how, where's the twist coming? 
And that's why, I, I mean, I wish, you know, maybe they wouldn't have divulged so much in the lead up to this to this movies because yeah like well, in the trailer supposedly they also had a lot of scenes that didn't make it into the the final cut yeah true true and uh, they're gonna put those in the deleted scenes but anyway yeah, that's and, a whole different thing yeah but uh one thing i didn't like was just some of the like I, for the most part the comedy was on point in this movie mm -hmm. i really liked some of the jokes mm -hmm. uh some of the quips but one part I didn't like was the whole uh, bus scene where he calls, he tells Edith to kill the, oh, or, <laughs> yeah. the, the guys the target yeah. and the drone comes. And he tells everybody to look away and he jumps up and disables the drone. And that whole scene right there, I'm like, yeah. okay, the movie could have done without that part. Like, <laughs> you, you literally could have skipped this bus scene and the movie would still be fine. Like, right. whatever. Um, just a kind of unnecessary uh, part to me. Um, but for the most part, that's really, oh, and then all too many, like too many twists in this and twists in that, <laughs> like I get it. It's mysterious. You're illusionist. You're going to have a lot of illusions, a lot of, yeah. but you know, him killing, you know, showing that he kills, um, fury, a uh, fury and then fury's alive right. and then they, they divulge to fury the truth. And then in, in, after the uh, end of the credit scenes, it, it wasn't really Fury all along. Like, come on, man. Yeah, How many times those, you're going to... It was those aliens from the Captain yeah. Marvel movie. How many but... times... Like, <laughs> I get it. You wanted to throw us off, but... That all right, for, that for everybody who's watching right now, TLDR for this whole movie. Basically, Spider-Man didn't want to be Spider-Man, like, at least not the head of, like, the Avengers kind of thing. Like, he didn't want to be the leader. He's not... He He's, like, more of a... The whole time he was basically like, man, I want to be a kid, you know. I want to, I want to like still be like, I want, I'm trying, I'm trying to get in uh, Mary Jane's walls. So you know, like, let me try to do my thing. We're going on vacation. Let me try to do what I gotta do. I'm not gonna bring my suit. And then like it jumps to like a bunch of shit that happens because he's like, because we find out that this whole trip was not really like a trip set up by just anybody. It was set up by Fury you know to to get him to go to these different locations that he needed him to go to that's why it's called like far from home uh they went to what they went to prague they went to italy they went to uh they went to some other locations netherlands that net oh my god that netherlands scene was actually pretty funny everybody they're like the nicest people ever i'm like what the fuck <laughs> yeah but yeah no, i mean like I this said, whole movie was comedy yeah this whole movie like it wasn't bad for a movie that has to follow up endgame like it was not yeah, bad true. and like uh as far as like the like we're talking about the bad stuff that we've seen like again it's that part where he gives him the glasses uh another one i think was like this whole uh romantic thing with mary jane i think mm -hmm. the, the end scene with them when they actually finally kiss it was kind of like cringy i was like okay. it was a little awkward yeah that, it was a little was, awkward like it, and, but granted, their characters are awkward in the yeah. in the movie, and it sure did come across as awkward. Like, yeah. but whatever. I was kind of glad that finally, <laughs> like, these fools finally got together. Can we go to the good stuff? Let's I, go to the good I, stuff. I, all right. So pew, pew, let pew. me just good stuff. <laughs> overall, <laughs> good stuff. Um, overall, I like the relationship. Like him trying to just be a normal guy mm -hmm. and trying to get with MJ and just. Mm -hmm just want to kiss MJ like what you know kind of we all wanted to do in high school was you know ask out the girl we like and you know for freaking kiss her so I, I kind of like that you know it was very down to earth his mm -hmm. end goal you know he just wants to be a normal guy mm -hmm. uh doesn't you know it kind of uh, when in the earlier movies when he's trying so hard to be in the Avengers mm -hmm. and then He's finally in there, mm -hmm. and now he wants to just be a normal guy. I kind of like that whole arc. Okay. Um, uh, the comedy, again, like I said before, was on point. You know, some of the funny parts are like, of course, his homeboy. That's always oh, oh Ned, his yeah. homeboy. Yeah, he hooking up with this girl on the oh, plane. Oh, that was like, yeah. He's like, come on, Bro. man. Don't think about Mary Jane. Like, right before they're getting on the plane and everything about to travel, they're like, man, don't think about her, man. We're single, you know. You know how crazy the European girls are going yeah. for uh, American guys. They love us. And then he gets on the plane, and this whole, like, little thing happens where 
Peter's trying to get with Mary Jane to sit next to her because he, he doesn't want to sit next to this other guy. And then, like, Ned tries to set it up, but he fucks up. But he ends up sitting with some chick, and he's like, next thing you know, they're getting off the plane. Like, oh, I have a yeah, girlfriend right now. I thought like, that was... What? <laughs> what the uh, yeah. fuck? <laughs> that was, like, one of the funniest shit. And then the whole relationship yeah. throughout the... Yeah, we, we saw the, 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 the span of the entire relationship in this movie because it pretty much lasted the entire trip. And then when they got back, I was like, yeah, we broke up. <laughs> yeah. And then, <laughs> that was really No, crazy. so that, that was hilarious. Him, when he, he finds out that Mary Jane knows, because Mary Jane finds out that... Uh, yeah, that, that he's uh, and the, man The whole reveal, reading part, like, he's panicking. He's like, you're right, I'm Spider-Man. Uh, you know, like... That whole part was pretty hilarious. Um, mm-hmm. The yeah, when Ned's like, well, you know, I knew first, but you know, it's not a competition. <laughs> like oh, that's yeah, so yeah. funny. I like, I, I like. Sorry, let me take this shit a while. Hold on. <laughs> um, um, I like the whole. I like Mysterio as a villain. Um, I thought Mysterio was okay as a villain. He wasn't too bad. I think his yeah. his reasoning was kind of. Uh, and then, like, you come yeah. to find out, too, there's a lot of, like, uh, references Employee. to prior uh, Iron Man oh, movies. Oh, yeah. Because, exactly. like, the, the, people, yeah. the people that are involved in this movie, like, the villains, I guess, like, it's a group of people that used to work for uh, Stark Industries. It was one of the guys from the first Iron Man movie who got yelled at by that bald guy who was the main villain. I forgot what his name was. And then, like, uh, Mysterio himself was actually the inventor of that technology, the hologram stuff that you see in that, uh, in that uh, was it Iron Man? No. It was Avengers. What movie was that? That he, yeah, they, I, I they don't remember that him. movie. I don't remember which one, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. So he was the inventor of that uh, that technology, and then Tony Stark called it fart. Yeah, and so and he I pretty much I, just suspected that man. <laughs> yeah, and I like I like that. Like I like that. There's an origin to that. Um, I like that it wasn't really like a power. It was just a, a very advanced tech. Right. Uh, I like that all the employees that hated Tony were involved, or the Avengers were involved. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they just kind of grouped up, made this tech, and and got him superpowers. And I like how he comes across very nice in the beginning because you kind of like, oh shit, this guy's pretty cool. You know, he's helping Peter out. I'm and not gonna then, lie, yeah, know, he he was kind of convincing as being the the good guy, even though like yeah. I was always in the back of my head like you're not the good guy, but like. And then he was like talking about he was coming from a different dimension, a different uh like yeah. a different world. Yeah, yeah. I was like, mm. and the only reason it even kind of got me is because I just Cause saw uh, into the Spider Verse. So and and then like, he mentions mm. that he's like, "So are you telling me there's like a multi multiverse yeah. that is like, and you're like, oh my god, are they really gonna do this? Yeah, actually, like, I was really hoping thinking, they did, but mm. yeah, no, me too, man. I was hoping like, no shit, the next movie's gonna be like live action multi multiverse. Like that's gonna be fucking badass. Like I really did kind of fall for that. I was like, yeah. so maybe he is from another dimension. This is how they tie it all in. But he just turns evil in the end, or maybe he brought the elementals to this universe for his own doing, or maybe he's the one who actually destroyed his own planet. Like, right. <laughs> like my mind was racing. So, right. Um, I really thought like that was true. So I did fall for that. And when I find out, like, what? It's drones and the employees. Like <laughs> yeah, a little it's a bunch bit of, of drones was, and ex- uh, yeah, former uh, employees and shit like yeah. that. Yeah, a little but, bit uh, of me was like disappointed, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I liked it overall. So yeah, so Mysterio pretty much in this movie was trying to get the uh, the Edith, like control of Edith, like so get the glasses. So uh, uh, actually, do we ever find? I'm sorry, you cut off. What? How did we know that that uh, that 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 Mysterio knew like when did we find out that Mysterio knew that Peter Parker had the glasses like how um, did he know he, to do it this he way he mentioned that at the bar when the girl one of the employees was like oh and toast to her I forget her name but for her for uh, knowing uh figuring out that Tony was handing off this technology oh, to a 16 okay, year old yeah. boy I forgot about so that. okay I don't know exactly what she did or how she found out but uh, apparently she had that that intel to give oh, okay. to them that hey he's gonna hand it off to, to, to so Peter. okay so he he fights these like fake like elemental things like the things you see in the movie where like the water and the what else is this water 
or I don't know. It's, it's several different ones. But anyways, so okay, like let's fast forward to the towards the end now. So whenever he fights uh, Mysterio the first time, of course it's like it's all bullshit. You know, it's all the drones, it's all this. And I really like that that uh -huh. CG, like those illusions. Yeah, I thought it was pretty that, cool. I thought it was I, really, I really, really like reminiscent like, of like the Doctor Strange scene. Yeah. I well, was like, you know what? Mm -hmm. It reminded me a bunch of like the old Spider-Man cartoon oh, okay. uh, when Mysterio pops up in that and the illusions he they did in that cartoon. I think it's very reminiscent of that. Like it really reminded me of those old Saturday uh, cartoons that they had of Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, I, I really liked it. Yeah. Okay. So. So then we get to the point where uh, Mysterio's like uh, 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 holograms are pretty much fucked because uh, Spider-Man like like breaks a couple of them. He's like, no, well, fuck it, just take off the take off the holograms, let the drones go do their thing, kill Spider-Man, kill the kids that know, and then we'll piece the fuck out of here. We'll we'll figure it out. So then it turns out the uh, that uh, that Spider-Man like, okay, Spider-Man didn't have his spider sense. That was weird. That that was kind of weird to me. Like he didn't have the spider sense up until like the end, and then I was like, uh, I was like, okay, I guess that's how they explain him like not being aware of the drones and shit. But um, uh -huh. I think, uh, and there's there's like history of it. Whenever he's like super stressed and super like something like that, his powers tend to like wane. Oh, okay. Um, now they didn't really explain that. I think that the way they kind of took it is that okay he knows now the situation and he's super gonna focus on that instead of visual right. he's gonna trust his senses which right. it seems like before he was just kind of like not trusting his senses and just like focusing on what he saw mm -hmm. and that's what tripped him out and uh um but so yeah it is kind of weird because usually i mean that's just something that he should just have at all mm -hmm. times. But right. I, it, they kind of played it off as like, well, they didn't really put much mind to it. And right. and I guess throughout the movie, they are kind of showing that he's super stressed and his mind's on other things. So his spidey sense is, is ah, failing. Okay. But yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. So don't so then they uh so then you, they, you get to the final battle between him and uh between Spider Man and Mysterio, and uh, Mysterio is like uh trying to kill Spider Man with the drones, but the drones are like not firing at, like full power because they don't want to shoot him. So he's like, no, you know, take off the pro uh, the safety protocols and just go all out. And then it turns out like one of them shoots him, and then Spider Man is like, is like looking at him dying because you know after he takes out the drones, he's like, hey like he gets control of the glasses again he's like edith is this real and she's like there's no sign of holograms so then he's like okay he's really dying and then it turns out like like uh was it no no it, it was was it before or after like he uh, like mysterio tried to shoot him i think it was right after wasn't it when he when he, when he takes the glasses and then no um it's uh right before so um that's actually one of my favorite scenes is the whole him fighting the thousands of drones to me was kind of a lackluster part of the mm -hmm. end scene because you know these are just drones it doesn't matter he's just destroying hundreds and hundreds of drones at a time the moves were cool but eh. anyways but when he's in that uh skywalk yeah. um and he's confronting uh mysterio and he's doing all the illusions and all that stuff and he's like using his spidey sense like that part was really cool but yeah um in the end uh mysterio gets shot and then he kind of like illusions himself and that's where he like you know uses spidey sense grabs his wrist you know and he's just dying finally from the shot which he did get shot um and then uh after he dies he grabs the glasses and uh he asks if that's this real and uh yeah uh the uh Edith Edith says is that there is no hologram so then he knows oh, okay this so okay sure. so then so the mysterio dies and then we get we get to the final scenes where uh he's uh He's he well he, uh the other thing they explain the the black in the, on the Spider-Man suit is because of Mary Jane she likes the black Dahlia so that's why he has like a suit that looks like that uh, I don't like the black suit I was like whatever but 
uh we get to a post credit scene where is it is it the post post credit scene whenever he's flying uh, well swinging around with mary jane and then what well, it ends the movie like that and then it goes into the post credit scene at the end of their ride oh yeah and then we see we see uh j jonah jameson he's back and it's actually jk simmons yeah. who was actually yeah the j jonah in uh the rammy spider-man movies Most which is really heard. interesting i i did like how they spin it around too since it's like you don't want to put them like on a newspaper thing because I mean nobody reads the newspaper. They kind of yeah. put them in, like in a kind of like an Alex Jones kind of type of style of uh, mm -hmm. like uh, news stuff. And like basically he gets this video where he's like, "This is breaking news. Uh, we got this video about Spider Man." And it turns out it's Mysterio who like forged this video, of course, using his holograms and whatnot, and made it look like Spider Man killed him because he wanted to be like the only like the the only replacement for spider-man and making they were trying to make it out to be like mysterio's the real hero but you know spider-man isn't and then uh another plot twist where he's like oh and i and the real identity for spider-man is peter parker and you say pictures and everything and then it cuts yeah like, oh that's, oh, that's yeah. crazy like that was so yeah i was like oh Wow. And it's really weird that they kind of left that for a post credit scene. It's so important. Yeah. And I saw a lot of people leave. I'm like, what the hell? This is like really crucial to the rest, to the next step mm -hmm. that, you know, they're trying to take now mm -hmm. for for the phase, whatever phase, phase five they're, they're about to go into. Mm -hmm. That's like basically the next step he's still. So in the movie, basically the gist, the whole movie, you're kind of handing off that throne to Spider-Man. Yeah. And then you're kind of just... Mm -hmm tearing that all apart and saying oh well now everybody knows who he is and everybody thinks he's the bad guy like what the hell like uh, that's a huge ass twist yeah so we get that twist and then we get another post credit scene where uh okay this is where we find out that fury wasn't fury throughout during yeah. the movie it was the that's aliens one thing too because i'm like fury really fell for this like that's crazy like fury is like one of the top smartest fools in the planet yeah and for him to fall for mysterious like also mm -hmm. believe mysterio like mm -hmm. yeah and then so sure enough it wasn't him it was these damn aliens uh so yeah it was the aliens and then like uh you can actually like there's like foreshadowing to that too because uh if you remember like uh that chick that he, he's always with calls him nick and nobody ever calls him nick other than fury fury's the only mm -hmm. name they call him but anyways uh, so we get, we catch this last post credit scene. And he's on like on some kind of ship with those aliens, and he's like walking around barefoot, and it's like I'm like, what yeah. the hell is going on here? So I, I literally thinking, I, I literally had to go looking into what the fuck was going on there because I didn't understand it. So yeah. it turns out, okay, so there's shield, and then that's supposed to like protect the earth, and then there's sword, who is supposed to protect the earth from like major catastrophe type of level shit. So that's what it's supposed to be. He's on Shield. So this all references back to Pokemon Sword and Shield somehow. <laughs> so he's on Sword is what you're saying. That's it's that. it's what there is. It's what I what I found out they're calling it. It's calling it's called Sword, which is supposed to be like the weapon that's supposed to help them like against something major that like superhero regular superheroes okay. I guess can't really defend against. Well, but okay. the other thing too that I I found out is that. Okay, so all of this is okay. So in in uh, uh, was it Homecoming? We saw uh, Scorpio and we saw the Falcon. Val the fuck, damn, it, I can't even say his name. The Falcon or fucking Vulture. <laughs> and yeah. so Mysterio is supposed to be dead. Mysterio is a lot of fucking things, but he's also a lot of bullshitting. I don't think he's dead. I think he bullshitted this. Because he said he had con con contingency plans. I can't even speak right now. Yeah, yeah. So I doubt that Mysterio's dead. He did this for sure because he's gonna. If he didn't get the way he wanted to do things, he was gonna find out another way to do things. So this looks like we're gonna we're we're gonna see the Sinister Six sooner than later. That's what it looks like. This is what it looks like it's leading to. So, okay. so that's pretty much the whole movie in a nutshell. <laughs> uh i guess what would you be giving this movie like in rating what kind of rating would you give it i would give it a 8.0 
8.0. 8.0. <laughs> yeah, it was an enjoyable movie. I it enjoyed was. the movie. It had its faults. It's mm-hmm. not like, you know, I, I, you know, I think it's in my top ten of Marvel movies. Like, yeah, because I'm just such a big fan of Tom Holland and Spider Man. I, I really liked it. But 8.0. It's a solid movie. It has its little faults. Mm-hmm. It's little things where you can like get kind of nitpicky about, but for overall, I think the movie was really fun. I had mm-hmm. fun watching it. I had I laughed watching it. Right. Uh, I got a little emotional on the Tony, oh, you know, the Iron Man parts. Nah, Iron I don't, Man I don't parts think I got watching it. At all for this one. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I I really like the movie. I think it's I think it's better than Marvel, for, Captain Marvel for oh, sure. Oh yeah, I think for sure a thousand percent is better than Captain Marvel. Like no hands down uh i get I'm, i'll get <laughs> i gave this movie a seven out of ten and then uh when i saw the fo- first post credit scene i was like all right eight out of ten i actually like that ending right, that right. was really yeah. good yeah but, uh yeah, really yeah the good. movie like, the movie as far as like following up endgame it was really well done i think the pacing of the movie was really well done uh i mean honestly if this movie would have come out like not with endgame right behind it i think it would have done better I, uh, but the movie is really good it's worth watching go watch yeah so it just kind of like well now we know that whoever you said they're on sword are coming back the avengers are coming back i think it's kind of what i mm-hmm. what i uh, so it's yeah, interesting it's to see to where a set of avengers coming yeah so it's interesting to see do you know what the next movie is is it guardians is guardians uh, i'm not next sure movie? i haven't looked it up Mm-mm, okay yeah so i'm interested in f- finding out what's next Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this is a great step off point for everything, and mm-hmm. so yeah, I'm excited. All right, Close all up. right, <laughs> all right. So yeah, guys, that's been our show. Uh, uh, like, comment, share. Let us know what you liked about the movie, what you didn't, what what your score is. Remember, uh, follow us on uh, Twitter, uh, the Three O Podcast on Facebook. Uh, we're also on a- Apple uh, Podcasts. We're on uh, Spotify. We're on Anchor. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Support the show. <laughs> uh, you know uh, that helps us out. It helps us keep the lights on. Anything you want to say? You know? Uh no. Uh, thank you for everyone for watching. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. We'll see y'all next week. Bye-bye.